Hi everyone. <laughs> so I'm here to talk about um, actually Facebook groups. This is a kind of like social media, social commentary type thing. Um, I am going to do more in the series about living in India in the Himalayas, but I wanted to talk about <clears throat> something I just noticed that was kind of making me laugh. Um, Kevin Bridges, the comedian, says that Facebook is the place where you discover that you hate your aunties. Um, and because, you know, like, people who might not talk openly at the dinner table suddenly become very bold on Facebook to talk about their political views, and sometimes you're a little bit shocked. Now, I'm not talking about <clears throat> any of my own aunties, either the spiritual ones or my my blood aunties, but... Um, <clears throat> But there are a lot of quite um, mouthy ladies, especially, uh, especially of a certain age on Facebook who, who just, you know, sometimes they just go on tirades. Now, there are a lot of groups on Facebook and I was kind of doing like a mental observation, not quite a social study, but I was doing a mental observation of all the different varieties of groups which, um, you know, there's, I, I'm in a couple of groups, like there's a political group and then um, some are like spiritual groups and some are about art. Um, now, it's, what was so funny to me is like, I was in maybe five political groups for Marion Williamson for, you know, I mean, actually four years, but like this whole primary season for one year as well. And, and it, it could get touchy, but it was pretty um, tame, considering that it was progressive politics and we were talking about things like war and famine and legislation and injustice, and social justice. Um, people were pretty respectful. And then there was um, not so much on Twitter, though. Like, you know, I did delve into Twitter and I was like, no, no, I can't. Um, people, yeah. people are to me. And then there was um, this group that I just discovered, which was a group for spiritual gay men, um, which I was kind of curious about. And now it's interesting because like spirituality and homosexuality, spirituality is not religion, but it is often like religion becomes the jumping off point for one's spiritual beliefs because they are something that is already established to discuss spiritual matters or it's, you know, what happened with religion was it was the institutionalizing of spiritual beliefs. And then um, most religions, maybe accepting Buddhism and to some extent Hinduism, have denounced homosexuality historically. Um, you know, if we, Julius Caesar said that the Druids, the Druidic religion had a lot of homosexuality in it. I don't know if that's true. I, I mean, there's a lot about Caesar's account about the Druids that we don't know if it's true or not, but it's kind of like a, a quaint detail to, to note, footnote here. The, um, so this group was established and both spirituality and homosexuality have historically been very hot button topics because on the one hand you're dealing with people's choices and imagination and their ideas about what life is for um, which invariably becomes a way that people can invent their identity and then try to sell it and if people don't like it they get mad um, it's sort of like fashion that way like fashion has come to replace religion and secular society for the thing that people adopt to um, declare from their ego, this is me. And uh, and then, that unfortunately, you know, devolve into fighting about it. And then homosexuality is something that is so personal. Um, it is such a bit, you know, on the one hand, you also have like the persecution aspect, um, which make, which Persecution has a way of feeding into the ego, and um, 
and then on the other, there's also the fact that it's this emotional thing, so that it's so charged. Anyway, so I was in this group on Facebook, on the Facebook, and people were, yeah, there was, uh, you know, it's kind of like, I would say, middle range contentious, uh, in the sense that there was a lot of complaining about, um, you know, there was one kind of faction that was complaining about the fact that there was so much sexual content, which, of course, um, you know, is, is a part of gay culture. And then, um, and then there was the other part that was, the other faction was feeling kind of judged by those people who were, who were complaining about that. And then, you know, it's kind of like, it triggers old memories, old shame and old anger about, you know, be feeling like, um, society is judging you as a homosexual man. Um, so anyway, so someone has just declared that they're leaving the group. People really, <laughs> all this declaring that you're leaving the group and flouncing out. I don't know about that, but anyway, so they declared and then they were all, like their complaint about the group and it's so contentious. And then they felt that they were becoming contentious in a way that they didn't want to become contentious. All of which I agree with. If you are in a group that triggers you like that, and then you feel, and you notice your behavior changing, then yeah, um, withdrawal is a good option at that point. But um, <clears throat> what was making me laugh actually is um, as contentious as that group is, and also taking into account that there are 2,000 years of persecution of homosexuals in most of Europe and the Americas, and um, and then you've got like religion and people's diverse beliefs all thrown into the same pot. It is still more polite and respectful than the group for vintage fantasy art. Which I just think is hilarious. Like, so there's this group for vintage fantasy art, and it, you know, this is a very niche thing. It's not, uh, it's not politically charged. You, we're not even supposed to talk about politics, and or religion, um, and evidently, there's a huge kind of. Um, identity component to this topic. You know, it, it's supposed to just be sort of like, a, I don't know, like a hobby kind of thing, you know, art appreciation about art from fantasy art from the 70s. So basically, a lot of um, people are posting Tolkien paintings and um, paintings from Conan and um, Arthurian and stuff. And uh, which were very popular in the 70s. I have kicked the hornet's nest twice in that group. Am I going to say what I did? Yeah, I'm going to say. Um, once I posted a painting that had a swastika in it by accident. I didn't see it. Um, <clears throat> and I was thinking about, I was wondering, like, would I have posted it if I had seen it? Like, because, you know, the swastika has more than one meaning, and one could argue about whether the two billion people who see it as something other than a Nazi symbol, um, if they could, you know, be swept to the side so easily. And then also, um, anyway, I probably wouldn't have because I could avoid the aggravation, but then I did post it and then someone complained about it and then I removed it and then I airbrushed it and put it back. And then um, the moderator told me that we're not censoring. And also you really shouldn't edit stuff <laughs> posting to the art group, which is true. Uh, that was very, very cheeky of me. Anyway, and then the second thing that I posted was the Mists of Avalon cover. So not even about Marion Zimmer Bradley, you know, who was an abuser supposedly of her daughter. And her daughter has written a book called The Dark Side of Avalon. Like Avalon needs a dark side, it's already pretty dark. But um, but yes, uh, 
doing this expose about her mother's abusive behavior. And, um, and so consequently, a lot of people have canceled the book. Um, now, I posted about the cover, which was by, I can't even say his name, Brow, 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 something like that. Uh, it's a hard name to say. Um, he painted the cover, and it's nice. It's a beautiful, incredible depiction of mist, actually, which is very hard to do, because he's got it, like, fading in, in, in a way that's very believable, almost photographic realism of mist. And, um, and then it's got the Enchantress Priestess Morgane on a horse, and um, it's beautiful. Anyway, I did make the mistake of mentioning Marion Zimmer Bradley in the little write-up I did about it, because I was describing like what she'd said about about the cover, because she had made some, um, she had declared that she didn't want one of those Conan type sexy babes on the cover of her book. She told her publisher like, if if you put one of those girls on the cover, I'm taking my business elsewhere. So, um, <clears throat> so then it it maybe seemed like I was talking like the post was about Marion Wilson. Uh, Zimmer Bradley, not Mary Williams, Mary Zimmer Bradley, important distinction, um, which of course it's an art group, like it's not about authors, it's not about authors' lives, what they may or may not have done. Um, I gathered that the evidence is pretty compelling, but um, you know, it's, it's about art appreciation. So th this thread had devolved into people who felt obliged to denounce Mary Williamson. Marion Zimmer Bradley. I've said that other name too much. Um, Marion Zimmer Bradley on the post about the copper art repeatedly, like as if, you know, they were going to hell if they didn't um, call it out, call it out, call it out, call it out. You got to call it out. So um, eventually the moderators locked the thread and they locked my one other one with a small sticker in it too, because people could not stop themselves. Um, which is hilarious. Like I do find there's a little bit of a trend right now that if you're not calling it out, you're not standing up and being counted, you're not, you're not doing your part. Um, but I mean, like there's a danger with that. If everyone is barking, uh, look, look, there's a thing, look, there's something bad and nobody is listening then it's just going to be a cacophony of noise that we're going to all tune out. We're all going to learn to tune that out. So um, keep that in mind, peeps. Anyway, um, I thought it was hilarious. So yes, the award for the most contentious Facebook group goes to ding, 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 vintage fantasy art. <laughs> Marion Williamson and your progressive ideas to the side. Gay spirituality, <laughs> piffle. <laughs> Compared to vintage fantasy art. Um, anyway, I, I thought that was very, very funny. Okay, so I'm going to upload this and um, be nice to each other, even on Facebook, because why not? What does it cost you? All right. Bye. Love you all.